A quick turnaround. A 6 p.m. first pitch with a rematch against UNO. The Privateers won last night 4-3. to three. We'll start here in the second because Anthony Heron sends this one to space. Long gone, given the Privateers an early 2-0 lead. But here comes the Demons offense. Back-to-back -back doubles and Gray Roulette cuts the lead in half. Fourth inning, same score. J.K.'s, he ain't phased by your inside fastball. He takes this one for a ride and just like that, NSU has a 3-2 lead. The coach is loving it. That score would stand to the top of the ninth. Just three outs away for NSU. But the Privateers had other plans. Isaac Williams double into the gap would tie the game up at three with just one out here in the ninth. It's now two outs, but UNO would take the lead. The bullpen gives up five runs. The Demons did not have an answer in the bottom of the ninth, and they would be eliminated after the 7-3 loss. NSU season comes to an end just short of their first championship game appearance in five years. Well, now welcome in Mary Margaret Ellison live in Lake Charles after the game. And Mary Margaret, NSU was just three outs away from playing for the title tomorrow, but instead their season comes to an end tonight. What was Coach Barbier's reaction about what happened there in the ninth inning? Well, obviously going into the ninth inning, you know, you would really actually kind of just take it back to the bottom of the eighth. You know, you kind of want a little bit of, you know, some insurance runs to kind of get you to where you need to be. You know, it was a 3-2 game. Then all of a sudden, you know, it becomes a 3-3 game, 4-3 game. And then it kind of just fell apart in the ninth inning. But at the same time, Coach Barbier was like, you know, this team is so special to me. And he knows, he was like, you know, you can't hang your heads too much because look at what they have been able to do. You mean you you haven't gotten here since 2018. Look what we did. We you know you eliminated McNeese. You know keeping that energy high, and of course you know in the ninth inning this is not what you want. But this is what kind of happened. And but Coach Barbier was like you know this what they have been able to do. It kind of has blown a lot of minds. And so you just gotta you gotta leave on a positive note in what they've been able to do. This group was fun. They were fun to be around. They were talented enough, you know, um, but they were they were a group that, I've said it before, you enjoyed to come to the park every day. You know, I enjoyed visiting with them in the locker room. And you get teams like that sometimes that are, that are um, a little harder to let go. We shouldn't be remembered for that, you know, for that ninth inning. You know, this team should remember for their fight, and they're, they're playing hard and having a chance to win the league in the last weekend and, and all the things that, that they've done really well. So the Demons, obviously, they are going to be able to, to bring back a lot of players, you know, you saw in the games against McNeese throughout this week. You know, you can see what they can do. You know, they were second in home runs, second in scoring. So you know what they can do and what they're capable of. And so they definitely set a foundation for the next season. Yeah, bright future ahead. Thank you, Mary Margaret.